gospel for being pastor eight days a week. And I finally was humbled and life happened. And whether I was like, I, there's been times where my prophetic gift has like, we've, I've had altar calls at bars where we done spent three, four, five hundred dollars at a bar and whatever happens with me happens. And then I have a moment with God because I'm mad now because I done sobered up to be my, be this vessel. And I finally was like, okay, this is who I am wherever I go to. Cause the harder I tried to not be him, the more of him came out. So can we stay there for a second? Can we stay right okay. there for a second of where pastors or not pastors, but people who supposed to uphold this image are getting lit or what we will say as, you know, lit nowadays yeah. at places that we may not see them at, you know, strip club bars or what or whatnot. You know what I mean? Um, and I find pastors find that, you know what I mean? Oh no, that's wrong. Blah, blah, blah. But like you just said, like, look, I had to grow. You know what I mean? You I, had see to grow, me I had to grow to a place to understand. First of all, everybody got a vice, whether it's public one or a private one. Damn. Um, Damn. And, 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 and the reality is, based off of the Bible, those vices will cause us to suffer while on earth, but it won't send us to hell. Hmm. But we can't say that because we want everybody to function a certain way. And we we don't really want to give this grace to other people that we want, because if we don't give grace, it puts us on a higher pedestal. Because I don't do this, so I'm better than you. I don't do that, so I'm better than you. When the reality is we're all doing something. Mm -hmm. We're saved you know, by I grace. The Bible says we're saved by grace. So regardless of if you drink or you smoke, like I can't, I can't condemn the smoker, the drinker. Which one is better? They're all the same. It's an issue. Cat McKenzie said, thank you for speaking the truth. Like, I man, and, and I guess that's what's made my brand or my image um, so transcending is my transparency. Like we talked about earlier, I called it the Eminem School of Battle Rap. I'm going to tell you my, my trifling so you can never use it against me. I'm going to mm. be transparent about my struggles, what I've overcome, my failures. For one, to let you know you're not the only one going through. And two, just because you're going through don't give you a right or a reason to punk out or be up, as we said earlier. Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I used to be that. I still do this. And guess what? I like doing that, but I know I can't do that no more. I own those things because I want to be relatable and relational to be able to help somebody else overcome themselves. Because we not... Don't none of us do what we do because of peer pressure. We do it because we like to do it. The Bible says, delight yourself in the Lord. Why do I got to delight myself in the Lord unless I want to really delight myself in certain other things that are not of the Lord? But I got to own those things. So me, right. trying to build, me trying to build this brand and this image, when people know me, I didn't want to be that. He wanted them guys. So I owned my transgressions. I own my troubles. I own my struggles publicly and privately for the sake of help. I can't do this by myself. Mm. I got a prayer life. God is amazing. I need my misfits, my bros, my, my tribe. I need my sisters. I need them. Like, cause if I'm really trying to be me all by myself, man, please just, just imagine Biz, your struggle, your suffering, your what you call humiliation. Just imagine right. how you would function if you never had a wall, if you never had a Pastor Kenny, if you never had a Lee, if you never had your wife, if you never had your kids. Remove no, notice, remove your tribe from your struggle. See how much you, how much more you will be suffering. You know what's so crazy? You speaking on that. We talk about that a lot. You know, we have these family edition talks, right? And we had a conversation about bringing the next person over into the next year with you. You know what I mean? If they didn't put in, if they didn't, not so much a put in, but they didn't help you out through the struggle. They didn't, they weren't there. They're more so, they're more so lead star for you in a way, right? And it was like, would you bring that person over into the next year or to the next new beginning of you? Right. And that kind of brings me to like my tribe, 
well, obviously you're not part of my tribe if you're leeching or if you're just trying to be here to receive a dollar or something mm -hmm. like that. Well, you're not part of my tribe because my my tribe don't yeah. think like that. Yeah, but that goes back to an ignorant saying I used to have and I try to not say it anymore. If you can't struggle or suffer with me, you can't ball with me. Sheesh. Sheesh. We say that, but we don't hey, even that would understand. Hey, talk about all the time. But we, when we speak that, we actually put that into the atmosphere. We put transgression and suffering in the atmosphere, which means they got to prove their worth by being able to suffer with you. Uh, what kind uh, of friend? What kind of friend is that? That your introduction to brotherhood is, I'm broke, I'm busted, and I'm disgusted. Now let's see how you act. No. If if you're a real friend and a real brother, I should never hit rock bottom. So it's never gonna be a struggle. It's never gonna be a suffer. We should come up connecting. Ele what they call it? Elevating. Elevate together. Yeah. See, mine, yeah, mine, wasn't so much, mine wasn't so much in that area. What's up, Lee? Uh, I know we haven't been What's introduced up? properly. You know, yeah. Nice to meet you, brother. Uh, mine wasn't so much in that area. It was more so of like, you know, if I'm down and you're you're just not involved around just to, just period, like, you know what I mean? Not, not giving like proper advice, not giving yeah. like, you know what I mean? You don't necessarily have to be yeah, struggling got with me, but you know, uplifting. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I got if I got to pick, listen, if I got people around me and I got to dust my, pick myself up and dust myself off, best when I get enough strength on my two feet, I'm going to remove myself from the people Ghost. who watch me suffer. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, That's yeah. what I meant by because, because you, especially with the way social media is, hell, they'll go Facebook live on you because you done tripped and bust your head as opposed <laughs> to brother. Here come the car. They want to record you. They want to record you getting hit by the car, then right. pulling you from the car. <laughs> More entertaining to see you get hurt than to help you and see you for, succeed. For, for, them to, for them to get 